35, a 21 year old student, became an example as she decided to undertake a charity work in Fiji. The courageous woman decided to take rest of modern life and will be teaching poor village kids. Thanks to her grandma's help, she prepared the church where it's found today in St. Andrew's Church Hall in here. There's a whole load of home baking here and it's for sale to raise money for Think Pacific. Um, there's a variety of different prices and different types of cakes and things like that. So if anybody wants to buy some, please roll up. No, I don't think I'm too young. Um, I did Camp America last year um, and I was in America for three months. Um, I did Camp America for two months and then I travelled around America for a month afterwards. So I've got experience with working with children, being in an environment I'm not comfortable with and that I'm not used to. So no, I don't think I'm too young. I'm 21. Um, I think it'll just be an adventure. It doesn't, doesn't faze me at all. I travel to uni almost every single day in Glasgow, and but I live in Air and I'm from Air and all my family live in Air. She hopes to go on May 1st and need £1,100 for a mission to succeed. You can also help her by making a donation on her Just Giving page dedicated to her mission. The money raised will not finance her travel but will be used for the children. Kelly already stated she will pay for her needs by herself. That was Anais Mampuya. On Saturday, March 25th, Simon Osan Crawford hosted muddy trials at Crawford Land Estate in Clermano, Cheshire. Probably one of the most challenging mud runs in the UK, the event features children and adults of all ages, who faced many different obstacles, starting by a muddy 10 km race. Right, um, we just do it for fun. We've, we've been since 2014, and... Uh, the girls and the guys just enjoy themselves here. Yep. Don't do it for charity or anything like that, just come for fun. We've been running these events now for um, just over five years. Uh, we've got a suggestion first made to us by the TV programme um, Country House Rescue on Channel 4. Uh, and basically we have lots of mud. So a mud run on somewhere with lots of mud makes a lot of sense. Uh, good fun and uh, we do it. Partly to raise money for charity and partly for raising money for the upkeep of the estate. Each year, the organizer of the event donates money to the charity partners. This time, the money raised will be given to Countryside Learning Scotland that help people learning more about the countryside and break the silence, a service helping survivors of childhood sexual abuse. Okay, so I work for Break the Silence. Break the Silence provides support to survivors of rape and childhood sexual abuse. We use professionally qualified counsellors who provide counselling support, group activities, complementary therapies and lots more. We come to events like the Mud Run to raise awareness. Um, childhood sexual abuse and rape is not a topic people really like to talk about. Um, so it's a great opportunity to raise awareness about what we do, the services that we provide. Um, and we get quite a lot of people who will take leaflets away today, they won't talk to us. But they might be the people who phone us next week, next month, next year, just depending on when they're ready. Um, that's a kind of big thing about our services, people have to really be ready to access the service. But we try and make it as easy as possible when they do. Um, we're always there to give a warm welcome. Our charity was established by a survivor of childhood sexual abuse. So supporting survivors is at the heart of everything that we do. Anais Montpellier for UWS News.